Hi everyone, it's October 11th, 2024, and I have words of the Lord from today, and I'm just going to say a quick prayer and get started. Lord Jesus, thank you, Father, for your words, your guidance, and direction. Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, and I pray for everybody that hears this message, that they would take everything right back to you and pray for discernment, understanding, and revelation. I plead the blood of Jesus over my brothers and sisters, their homes, their jobs, their coming and their going, Father God, their families and their children. Cover them like only you can. I pray that we would come together, united as one, one accord, one heartbeat, walking in your way, your will, the entire body of Christ coming together, Father God, in one accord. And I pray, Father, this message that we would pray about everything. I pray for the lost, the confused, the deceived, that we would and all of us would not lean on our own understanding, but bring everything to you for discernment, understanding, and clarification. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Amen. I give you all glory, honor, and praise, Father God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay. Um, hear the words of the Lord God Almighty. I am that I am, the great I am. My ways are higher than all understanding. Who do you say I am, children? Do you know me? Do I know you? Are you mine or do you belong to the world, thinking you walk in my covering? Yes, the path, the path less traveled is narrow indeed. And I tell you, few that have found the path and have stuck to it. Many have fallen away back into the world they love and cannot put down. The vices and the likes. Mine, I tell you, are disciplined in their walk, seeking me for all things putting me first, and I tell you, they walk the narrow path. Yes, this walk is not for the faint heart. Few, I tell you, that find it. Broad is the path most traveled. As I say, many were called, but few have answered their calling. Many, I tell you, will miss their calling, not walking in my will. I want not one to perish, as many will fall away. I am calling out my own. The harvest is plentiful, but the harvesters few. Come now, my children, seek first the kingdom. Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. Get on that path less traveled. I call my own now. Awaken much as upon this world. I am the only way. Abba, your Redeemer. And that's the message for today. Um, as always, pray for discernment, understanding, and revelation. Um, scripture will be down in the bottom in description. And know that Jesus is the only way. There is but one way. One way. Jesus is the only way, the only truth to everlasting life. And pray for truth. Pray pray for truth and, and eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to take in what he has to show you. Um, because when you come to him, he will show you truth. I can tell you I was completely confused with a lot of stuff and the Lord has shown me truth and and it wasn't easy for me. It wasn't easy for me to um, learn it all that the Lord has taught. But let me tell you, he teaches the un if you're teachable, we should all be we should all come with an open heart wanting his truth and and pray, Lord help me help me to learn help me to to take in all that you have to teach us because he is our teacher and he knows us individually how we're going to learn how we're going to retain everything that he shows us because there's a lot um but he he will guide you step by step day by day and he will show it he'll he will show you truth all you need to do is ask and seek 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 and be consistent um, read, pray, worship, and that's your, those are, those are the steps to get close to him and fast. It's so important to walk with him and talk with him and be close with him. You have to know his language. The Bible is his language. You need to get those words into your, those scriptures into your soul. Um, and it's not just a verse here and there. You need to dig in at least, at least 10 chapters a day. And um, go in randomly. Um, I do know that I was I was reading um, straight through chapters, and I, I I went through the the Bible a few times. But if you randomly pick chapters, 
it goes faster and you are getting fed words he's speaking to you in those in those chapters that you're reading they kind of come together and he's speaking to you in those chapters and only um you're only you'll you'll understand what he's he's teaching you you'll you'll get it in your heart pray lord open up my mind heart and soul to take in all that you have to feed me feed me lord let me take it in let me digest it he says digest my words um he's told me that read his words take them in pray worship read and fast it is so important and it's not to be work-based it's to have a relationship how else are you going to have a relationship if you're not reading praying if you're not reading his word praying and speaking to him how else are you going to have a relationship in um worshiping him he is your god we should be worshiping every day this is a daily walk it's not a an hour here once a week seven days a week and a lot of us i mean that was my life i went on wednesday for an hour and Sunday for an hour, and then I was out and playing in the world. Um, but it's time to, it's, we're so close that it's time to, to come close to the Lord, come to his feet, as he says. So God bless you. I love you. Um, pray about everything and take everything to the Lord. And um, the scriptures for this message are down at the bottom. God bless you. Good night.